Okay, so bring to all of you. Yes, can you hear me? Hello. Yes, sir. Hello. Yes, sir. Yes. I'm good. Yeah. Yes. So, thank yeah. you. Yes, we'll start session. Yeah, just a minute. Yes. So previous class, uh, so previous class, sources of big data discussed. Next, big data challenges. What are the big data challenges we should discuss today? Yesterday, just introduction discussed. So today, we should discuss about big data challenges. Yes, how do you? Yes, 9.15 here, yes, that how do you win it action? So this is one second. Yeah, these topics, big data challenges, these things we should discuss. Yes, so these are the topics what we discussed in previous sessions. Okay. Now big data challenges, data storage, data processing, all these challenges we should discuss. Okay, the source of big data, like historical data and all this we discussed in the previous class. So first data storage, big data challenges. So data storage. Yes, all the challenges traditional systems versus Hadoop. Okay, traditional systems, traditional, traditional systems versus Hadoop. So this is our topic today here. Traditional systems versus Hadoop. Okay, traditional systems versus Hadoop. Okay, so first we will take traditional databases. Yes, first data storage, data storage. Topic is data storage. Data storage, traditional databases versus Hadoop here. So first, traditional databases. Let us see traditional data bases. About traditional databases. So first, we'll see traditional databases. Traditional databases versus Hadoop here. Traditional databases. First, let us see traditional database. Okay. So for traditional database, maybe vertical database, traditional databases like a, like Oracle database, yes, maybe MySQL database, yes, Oracle database, Oracle database or MySQL database, yes, maybe Microsoft SQL Server, yes, SQL Server, Microsoft SQL Server, okay, yes, Microsoft SQL Server, yes, or something like a server DB2, okay, next maybe Postgres. These are the traditional databases here. Post case like this, all the traditional databases. All the traditional database. Let us see data storage in traditional databases. Data storage. See first. Yes, first database. Initially database with some capacity. Suppose initially capacity some two TB disk. Initially capacity two TB disk. Okay. So initially capacity two two TB disk. Suppose when disk is filled here. Yes, increasing volume. See, after reaching 90% of space here, once reached to 90% of space here, then raising alerts. Once alert raised here, yes, the DBA will increase the space. Adding one more disk here. So alert 2TB disk is there here. Now we'll add, yes, next 2TB disk. One more 2TB disk. Now space is now 4TB space. Now 4TB, it's a 4TB, right? 4TB. Suppose this also filled. 
just adding next 2 db list. Like this, continuously we add it here, plus 2 db. So plus 2 db, just increasing volume, plus 2 db, plus 2 db. Like this, plus 2 db, plus 2 db. Like this, increasing volume, just increasing volume here, increasing by 2 db, 2 db, like this. Increasing volume, which just increasing volume of this server, this card is vertical scaling. This is called kind of vertical scaling. Okay, traditional systems, traditional systems, traditional systems, traditional systems, data storage, it's a vertical scaling. Yes, I'll tell you what is exactly vertical scaling. I'll explain that here. Data storage, yes. data storage is a vertical scaling. This follows vertical scaling. It's a vertical scaling, vertical scaling. How do you follow horizontal scaling? How do we say horizontal? How do follows horizontal scaling here? Traditional systems follows vertical scaling. So what is vertical scaling here? Vertical scaling. Suppose initially 2 TB disk. Next increasing volume. Just increasing volume. Just increasing volume. Just increasing volume of server. It's nothing but it's a vertical scaling. Just increasing volume of server is a vertical scaling. Okay. So traditional systems follows vertical scaling. When come to Hadoop here, Hadoop follows Argent scaling. Yes, in Hadoop, see, if it is Hadoop, what happens here? Suppose Hadoop, initially one server with 2 TP disk, right? One server. So the server field here, the server fields, then in Hadoop, adding one more server. This also field, adding one more server. This also field, adding one more server means computers, number of containers, computers here. Adding one more computer. Next, adding one more computer. Adding one more computer. Like this, adding number of computers, one by one computer adding here. So suppose first one is filled, adding second computer. This is also filled, one more computer. This is also filled, one more. Like this, increasing number of servers. Increasing number of servers. How do you follow horizontal scaling? So what is horizontal, what is vertical scaling? So vertical scaling means increasing capacity of server is a vertical scaling. Increasing capacity, increasing capacity of server is a vertical scaling. Okay, increasing just increasing capacity of service vertical scaling here. Next, increasing number of servers. Increasing number of servers is a horizontal scaling. Yes, this topic we'll discuss in Hadoop here. Yes, later we'll see in Hadoop. I'll explain this one here. Yes, we'll discuss. Next topic is Hadoop one here. In Hadoop, we'll discuss. Now let us see traditional system here. Traditional system. In traditional system here, just increasing volume of the server. Initially, maybe 2 dB. So first First database setup. In database setup, initially it's a 2 TB disk. Next adding 2 TB, next adding 2 TB. Like this, continuously adding 2 TB, 2 TB, 2 TB like this. Like this, increasing capacity. This is called as vertical scaling. Vertical scaling. So what's the maximum capacity? 2 TB adding next 2 TB, next 2 TB, next 2 TB, next 2 TB, next 2 TB like this. Like this, what's the limit? What's the limit? Let us see. Okay, let us see that. Okay, what is that limit here? That depends on computer. Yeah, I know this practically here. Yes, I work at this area also. Yes, I'll tell you. How exactly in traditional systems, how that volume will be increasing here? In traditional, da traditional database servers, how that volume, how that capacity of hard disk increasing here? Capacity of hard disk, how the capacity of hard disk is increasing? How the capacity of hard disk is increasing? Let us see that. See, a computer is computer with motherboards. A computer with motherboards. Computer with motherboards. Or computer with motherboard. Computer with motherboard. Okay. That motherboard consists of 12 slots. Motherboard. That motherboard consists of 12 slots. Motherboard consists, consists of 12 slots. There are 12 slots. Motherboard consists of 12 slots. Motherboard consists of 12 slots. There are 12 slots. 12 slots. Okay. Yes. Let me show the motherboard. See computer motherboard. Searching, let us search for computer motherboard. See computer motherboard. So if I say motherboard means that shows a different motherboards, like TV motherboards and other motherboards. Yes, computer motherboards. Computer motherboards. Okay. Computer motherboards. Can see this is computer motherboards. Yes, images. See this, it's a motherboard, right? Yes, motherboard, these are the slots. See, slots, PC slots, right? AGB slots like this. Or RAM slots. Okay, floppy connection slots here. 
all these slots here. Okay. Yes, see this. All these slots. PCA slots, right? One, two, three, like this. Multiple slots, like this. Motherboard slots, right? Like this, how many slots here? Yes, basic competitors, 12 slots. Basic, basic competitors, say 12 slots. Just is a 12 slots. 12 slots, right? 12 slots called as LUNs also. That we can call as LUNs also. Yes, admins. Okay, the database admins, they will call as LUNs. Okay, for each slot, for each slot, for each slot, yes, one disk, yes, for each task, for each task, we can plug in one disk here. One disk can be plugged in here. Can one disk can be plugged in? Plug in right? One disk with cable. Yet each slot, one disk can be plugged in. We can plug in one disk. Okay. Maybe two T two TB disk. So first initially, first slot, two TB disk plug in. Just a cable. Nothing is plugged in with nothing but between disk and slot, there's a cable. Inserting into cable care, just cable. Cable plug into disk and plug into motherboard. Between these two cable care. Okay. So 2db disk plug in, next 2 db, next 2 db. See, first initially 2 db disk here, 2 db disk. Suppose that volume filled, reaching to 90 percent, when reaching to 90 percent, raising alert, whenever raising alert here, now DBA, database admin, you will plug in one more disk. One more disk means next 2 db. Suppose if it is filled, if it is filled, next 2 db, next 2 db, like this, add it continuously, right? How many here? 12 slots, 12 lunch. That means 12 multiplied by 2 TV is equal to how much kids are 24 TV, right? That's it. Yes, that space can be increased up to 24 TV. B end of 24 TV, it won't, it won't take here. It won't take, right? So that is basic computer here. So minimum, minimum hardware, minimum hardware, right? Mm -hmm. Suppose if it is high end system, somewhat high end computer. Suppose if it is high end computer, high end computer. Yes, high end computer. Yes, if it is high end computer. Yes, high end computer motherboard. High end computer motherboard. <clears throat> motherboard. Yes, consists of high end computer motherboard consists of 24 slots. There are 24 slots. So that high end motherboard consists of 24 slots. Then 24 slots. 24 multiplied by 2 TV is equal to how much here? 48 TV. It's up to party T bridge. Yes, high end computer. High end computer, its space. High end computer space can be increased up to 40 TV. So high end computer capacity is 40 TV. 40 TV. 24 multiplied to be 2 TV is equal to 40 TV. It's a high end. Right again. Okay. Very high end system. Very high end. Very high end computer. Very high end computer. Yes, very high end computer motherboard. Very, very high end computer. Yes, consists of two motherboards. Yes, very, very, very high end computer consists of, yes, consists of two motherboards, two motherboards, two motherboards of each, of each 24 slots. Two motherboards of each 20, 24 slots, right? So two motherboards multiplied by 24. Two motherboards multiplied by 24 is equal to, it's a 48 slots, right? It's a 48 slots. 48 slots, right? 48 slots. Now, 48 slots multiplied by 2 TB disk. Yes, in market, 2 TB disk is available. That's the reason I'm saying about 2 TB disk. Previously, only 1 TB disk. Now, 2 TB disk available here. Okay, 48 into 2 means 96 TB. 96 TB. So, this is maxing capacity. High-end computer. Next one more. In market, 10 TB disk cards available, not only 2 TB, even 10 TB disk cards available. Recently came to the market here. So 10 TB disk also available. 10 TB disk cards available here. 10 TB disk cards are available. Yes, available. Yes, if it is 10 TB disk, then how much here? 48 multiplied by 10. 48 multiplied by 10. This value is equal to how much here? 480 TB, means around 5 TB. 5 TB. So maximum space is 500 TB, right? It's a 500 TB. But this is heavy load on the computer. 480 TB, heavy load on the processor. It's not easy. 
even system also feels sometimes hanging computer hanging computer hanging software and hardware everything will be hanging here but this is not recommended this is not recommended to use okay recommended one is only 48 this is recommended recommended okay just a computer motherboard with 24 slots motherboard 24 slots each 2 tb only 48 this range is recommended this range is recommended that means up to 48 tb can increase give the dba adding this continuously here by adding this by adding this you can increase up to 48 tb is the maximum capacity still data is there no chance no chance so traditional systems are failing to store big data big data right okay here chance what what is 50 tb not more than that if data is more than 50 tb no chance means traditional systems traditional database are not in a position to store huge amount of data so these are failing these are failing right okay for this alternative is hadoop now let us go to hadoop here let us see about hadoop here now data storage in hadoop here okay data storage data storage data storage in hadoop hadoop right data storage in hadoop here right yes now let us see what is hadoop here what is hadoop hadoop yes hadoop it's a open source framework to store and process big data the topic already we discussed today. okay see hadoop mainly has two core modules mainly has two core modules two core modules two core modules first one is hfs hfs yes it's a file system hfs is a file system it's a file system is a file system to store data to store to store data to store data like a backend like a backend like a backend okay to store data like a backend hfs it's a file system hfs is a file system it's a file system hfs it's a file system to store data like a backend to store data it's like a backend next second one map reduce yes map reduce map reduce second one map reduce so what is map reduce here second one map reduce so what is map reduce map reduce yeah these are java programs these are java programs these are java programs okay map reduce these are java programs map reduce these are java programs to process data to process data here to process data to process data they are java programs to process data like a front end so like a front end here like a front end is like a front end so hfs like a back end map is like a front end here so front end back end is like this clear about hfs and map is okay now data storage data storage is related to hfs now let us see about hfs yes about hfs so what is hfs first let us see about hfs half of it will go to that hadoop storage so hfs yes hfs stands for hadoop distributed file system hadoop hadoop distributed hadoop distributed hadoop distributed file system hadoop distributed file system so hfs stands for hadoop distributed file system now question is what is distributed file system here what is distributed file system now question is what is distributed what is distributed file system so what is distributed file system let us see about distributed file system here see file systems let us come to file systems here in file systems first one traditional traditional file systems traditional file systems traditional file systems like the like the like the windows linux windows and linux they are the traditional file systems next dfs distributed file system okay dfs like hadoop hadoop file system hadoop file system right this is so traditional file system is dfs yes in traditional systems systems here how the data storage yes in traditional file systems in traditional yes in traditional in traditional file systems traditional yes in traditional file systems yes one second one second just a minute so windows linux they are the traditional file systems here windows file system is a 
F eighty thirty two. Yes, Windows file system. Windows file system is a yes F eighty thirty two is a old file system, old version. Start thirty two. It's a old version. It's a old version. Yes, recent recent is yes NTFS latest latest version. Latest version. NTFS networking technology file system. Yes, here old versions like old versions like Windows ninety five and ninety eight case. Windows ninety five ninety eight case. NTFS latest version. This is Windows NT. Next Windows XP. Windows seven. Windows eight. Ten hundred twelve. There NTFS comes on NTFS category. So that is Windows file system. Next, come to Linux file system here. Linux, yes, Linux file system. Linux file system is a yes is ext2 means second extended, third extended, and fourth extended. Second ext2, ext3, ext4. So ext4 is the latest here. Latest file system. Ext4. Linux is ext4. Linux file system is called as ext4. Linux file system. Linux file system is ext4. Linux file system is ext4 here. Windows file system. Windows file system is NTFS. Windows file system is NTFS. Linux file system is ext4. Yes, in this NTFS and ext4, what happens here? How the data stores? Yes, in traditional file systems, in traditional, yes, in traditional, in traditional file systems, in in traditional file systems. See, in traditional systems, yeah, traditional file system like Windows, Linux, traditional file systems like Windows and Linux, Windows and traditional file systems, Windows and Linux. These cases, a file, a file storing into storing into only one computer, storing into only one computer, only one computer, only one computer. Only one computer. Your file cannot break. Yes, in trial in traditional systems, your files file cannot break. File cannot break. Okay, file cannot break in traditional systems. File cannot break here. So here, traditional file systems like 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 Windows Linux. In case of Windows and Linux files, one file storing on only one computer, not multiple computers, not multiple computers. One file is on only one computer. File can't break. file can't break okay next next come to dfs distributed file system yes a distributed distributed file system distributed file system is nothing but hadoop file system yes in distributed file system here in distributed file system a file a file can break a file can break into multiple parts so file breaking into multiple parts multiple parts and storing And storing on multiple computers network here. Yes, in DFS, name itself is a distributed concept here. One file distributing onto multiple computers network here. So one file, yes, a file breaking into multiple blocks. Yes, multiple parts here. A file breaking into multiple multiple parts and storing onto and storing or distributing, storing or distributing, distributing, distributing onto multiple computers network. Multiple computers network. Can I do what Hadoop cluster? That is called Hadoop cluster. Yes, we will discuss next cluster. Multiple computers. Yes, multiple computers. Okay, multiple computers. Right. So one file storing and multiple computers. Okay. See, Linux file system, Windows file system. One file is only one computer. But in Hadoop, what happens? Can distribute file system can file breaking into multiple parts. After breaking into multiple parts, here those parts distributing onto multiple nodes in the cluster. What is cluster? We'll see next. Just wait. In couple of few minutes, couple of minutes, I'll explain that here. Okay. So here, distributed file system. So file breaking into multiple parts and distributing onto multiple computers. There's a difference. So traditional systems file is only one computer, but distributed file system is multiple computers. Okay. Fine. Next. <coughs> See in any file system, in any file system, in any file system, disk, the disk, hard disk, any file system, hard disk, divides, 
or this divides into or this divides into multiple blocks or this divides into multiple blocks just dividing into multiple blocks okay yes in any file system hard disk divides into multiple blocks in any file system hard disk divides into multiple blocks just dividing into multiple blocks in any file system hard disk divides hard disk into divides into multiple blocks what is block let us see what is block here yes in any file system hard disk divides into multiple blocks so what is block here let us see that what is block let us see hard disk suppose hard disk like this this is hard disk hard disk hard disk right yes divides into multiple blocks like this block one this is the block block one next block two next block block three yes next block four like this multiple blocks block n block n block n right like this so block 1 2 3 4 5 6 up to multiple blocks here block n now what is block exactly here block just is a block is a part of this disk here disk divides into multiple blocks now this block what how much data store into this block here okay how much data store into this block here the depiction file system yes size of which block size of which block depends on file system size of which block depends on depends on file system depends on file system right again okay. yes no linux on windows linux on windows linux windows size of size of which block size of which block is equal to 4 kb size of which block is equal to 4 kb that's it here 4096 bytes okay linux and windows linux windows these two cases in file system here yes so files all the data stored into disk right the disk divides into multiple blocks here the disk divides into multiple blocks the disk divides into multiple blocks the disk divides into multiple blocks so multiple the disk divides into multiple blocks okay yes the size of which block depends on file system yes if it is linux and size of which block equal to 4kb size of which block equal to 4kb it's a 4kb right okay yes hadoop yes in hadoop here hadoop 1.x version hadoop 1.x version yes size of which block defaults defaults size of which block default size of which block is equal to here 64 mb yes in 1.x version default size of which block equal to 64 mb default size of which block equal to 64 mb in 1.x version default size of which block equal to 64 mb right okay yes it can be it can be configured yes it can be configured it can be configured yes it can be configured to it can be configured to 128 mb also we can make it 128 mb it can be configured to 128 mb here in 1.x version how do wonder x version here default size of which block equals 64 mb yes that means this block size is 64 mb in traditional systems only 4 kb yes there is a lot of difference right traditional systems only 4 kb but in order to 64 mb 128 mb why so large because big data to so handle big data here to so handle big data right again so this case of 100 x version here when come to second version and third version of hadoop here hadoop 1.x version yeah, sorry 2.x version second version second version on third version 3.x second version third version default size of each block is equal to 128 means double of the 1.x version here yes it can be configured configured to 256 mb after this is so default is 128 default is 128 that can be configured up to 256 mb yes so size of which block is 128 mb yes see we are going to work on the second version not first version of hadoop here not first version of hadoop first version of hadoop has been having many disadvantages to work on the second version of hadoop released later third version third version is not a stable recently released third is not a stable recently released here now we are using only second version here so 2.7.2 2.7.2 this version we are going to work 
Okay. Yes, here default size of each block is 120 MB. Means this capacity is 120 MB. So why design so large to handle big data? Our data transferring. For example, here data transferring. Okay, data transfer. For example, data transfer network. Data transferring network. 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 Suppose Linux and Windows. How the transfers? Linux Windows. What happens here? First 4 KB transfers. After this, next 4 KB. After this, next 4 KB. After this, next 4 KB. So 4 KB, 4 KB, 4 KB delivers like this. 4 KB, 4 KB delivers like this. 4 KB, 4 KB transferring here. Because size of which block is only 4 KB. So 4 KB delivering like a package. Like a package here. 4 KB delivering. Next, after this, next 4 KB, next 4 KB, next 4 KB like this. Okay. Same thing if it is Hadoop. What happens in case of Hadoop here? At a time, 128 MB. Yes, will deliver. 128 MB, next 128 MB means block wise. First block delivering, next block delivering here. Because a big data, right? It's a big data handling. Big data. So 128 MB delivers. After the next 128, next 128, next 128. Like it delivering, right? So for example, here, for example, 1 TB data transfer. So 1 TB data transfer, okay, 1 TB data transfer, transfer. Yes, transfer, 1 TB data transfer. For Hadoop, how many times it has to transfer here? Hadoop, yes, 1 TB data. So 1 TB data means, yes, 1 TB data is equal to here, 10 to 4 GB, right? 10 to 4 GB. 1 TB is equal to terabyte, terabytes, gigabytes, terabytes. 1 TB equal to 10 to 4 GB. 10 to 4 GB is equal to here. 10 to 4. This much of MB, right? This is. 1 terabyte of data equal to this much of MB. 1 TB equal to this much of MB divided by 128 is equal to. Yes, that means 8,009. 190 times it has to transfer. 1 TB data file transfer, it will take 8,000 times. 8,000 times of data transfer, this, right? That's the case of Hadoop here. Same thing. Yes, if it is Linux, Windows, 1 TB data, how much here? That 1 TB data is equal to 1024 GB. 1024 GB multiplied by 1024, it's a MBs. MBs multiplied by 1024, it's a KBs. Now we got KBs, right? That KB is divided by 4 KB is equal to how much? This much of times. So traditional systems take a lot of time to transfer data. Because the disk, disk is only 4 KB, 4 KB, 4 KB here. But how do we say? 128 MB. So why design too large, so large here? Why in how do, why design so large to handle big data? For the purpose of handling big data here, it designed so large like this. Okay, right? Yeah, this entry question here. So what, what is default size of each block in Hadoop here? Yes, 100x version 64 MB. Second version of Hadoop is 128 MB. Yeah, that can be configured to 256. So 64 MB can make it 128 here. 128 you can make it 256. But not more than that. Just you can make it double, that's it here. So this is size of each block in Hadoop. Next traditional system, size of each block will 4 KB, that's it. So this is disk. Yes, Linux file system, the traditional file system disk and Hadoop file system disk is like this. Okay, fine. Then, next. Now, data storage in the Hadoop. Yes, data storage. See, in traditional system data storage, increasing volume, right? Increasing volume. Yes, in Hadoop data storage. Yes, Hadoop data storage. Let us see. Hadoop architecture. Yes, Hadoop architecture. Hadoop architecture. Yes, Hadoop architecture. Let us see what Hadoop architecture. Yes, it's a high level architecture. I'm explaining now high level architecture. Low level later we'll discuss. After Hadoop setup, yes, after Hadoop setup, we'll discuss about low level architecture. Low level is later. Okay. Yes. Hadoop architecture. Hadoop architecture, it is a master, master and slave architecture. It's a master, master and slave. It's a master, 
front sleeve architecture it's a mast and sleeve architecture it's a mast and sleeve architecture it's a mast and sleeve architecture it's a master it's a master yes hadoop architecture is master and sleeve architecture it's a mast and sleeve okay it's a master and sleeve architecture so what is master what is sleeve see master means like a manager sleeve means like a employee master and sleeve master means like a manager sleeve is like a employee manager employee see what is the relation here manager with his experience will give the instructions will guide the employees as per manager guidance that employees to work okay so manager always giving instructions to employees employees have to work as per manager instructions right simply we guide the employees just guidance giving guidance as per his guidance employees working at your right? same here master master will give the instruction to slave that slave computers have to work master and slave architecture master computers and slave computers let us see master yes in hadoop get yeah, this is name nodes this node called name nodes name nodes name nodes name nodes name node is a master in hadoop name node is a master here in hadoop name node is a master yes it's a master so this is master okay so this master here next sleeve notes next sleeve notes sleeve notes yes data notes sleeve notes data notes sleeve notes are called data notes master its name notes sleeve notes are data notes get data notes one next data notes yes let us make a shortcut name here dn data notes like this so data note one yes next data note two like this multiple data notes next 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 data notes note. like this multiple data notes okay all these data notes one second yes now these are the data notes here yes so data note 1 data note 2 data note 3 next data note 4 next data note 5 data note 6 yes up to multiple data notes hundreds of notes the data notes are hundreds of notes here data note again data note to store actual data of the file data note data note to store act, actual data of the file okay yes all data notes yes name notes it's a master name note is a master is called as master here it's a master name note so this is master this is master note name note is a master note so this is master so this is master note okay master note name note is a master note that okay next these all your slaves these are called as slaves all these are slaves all these are slave notes all these are slave notes okay so master and slave are teacher all the slave computers slave okay all the slave computers all the slaves master and slave okay so master and slave computers yes slaves here every data notes 
will communicate with name match yes what kind of communication we will discuss later later i'll explain here every data node communicating with name nodes yes in network it's network here in network every data node communicates with name nodes yes what is node what does mean i'll explain just which yes not every data node communicating with name nodes okay now this every data nodes just the communicating with name nodes one second Yeah, this is for this to get. No, let me take in this space here. So every data node communicates with name node. Okay, right? Yes, name node is a centralized controller. In Hadoop, name node is a main point. Main, name node is a centralized controller. So name node is a centralized controller. Yes, controlling complete Hadoop. It will con control the complete Hadoop. Next is all the data nodes. Data nodes to store actual data of the file. Data node to store actual data of the file. Yeah, this concept later we'll discuss. Internal architecture later we'll discuss. Now at this stage storage. Our topic is about storage. Okay, right? Now, yes, end user request. Yes, end user. One second. Yes, end user request. Suppose the end user request data loading. Or job submission, job submission, data loading or job submission. There, yes, send user request either data loading or job submission. That request simply goes to name nodes. Okay, send user request either data loading or job submission. Okay, yes, either data loading or job submission. That request goes to name nodes. Okay, now. Yes, at this point now we'll discuss about data loading because storage. Our topic is data storage, data loading. Okay, now suppose file one, file one with 100 GB data loading. That request goes to name notes. File one with 100 GB data. That request goes to name notes. Now name note taking file one with 100 GB data here. File one with 100 GB. So name node taking file one with 100 GB data. After taking 100 GB data, it divides 100 GB data into multiple blocks. Okay. Yes. One second. Yes. End user. Every request. Every request from the end user. Every request from the end user. From the end user submitted to name nodes. Submitted to end user. Submitted to name node here. Submitted to submitted to name node. Simply just submitted to name node. Submitted to name node. Okay. So every request from end user simply submitted name node. So for example, data load request. Data load data load request here. Data load request. Data load request. Yes, data load request. Yes, data load request. Suppose 1 GB data file. Sorry, 100 GB data file. Yes, 100 GB data file. So data load request for loading 100 GB data file. 100 GB data file. That case, what happens here? 100 GB data file, what happens here? That case. Here, on receiving 100 GB data file, name node divides 100 GB data file into multiple blocks. Okay, so first of all, yes, first of all, name notes. So first of all, first of all, name notes, name notes, divides, divides 100 GB data file into multiple blocks, into multiple blocks. Now let us see how many blocks here. This is 100 GB data equal to how many blocks? That is question here. 100 GB is equal to how many blocks? Divides into how many blocks? That is question. Yes, 100 GB data is equal to how many blocks? How many divides? Let us see. The 1 GB data is equal to 1024 MB, right? 1 GB data is equal to 1024 MB. That means 1024 MB divided by, divided by 128 MB, right? 128 MB. 
is equal to how much? Is equal to how much here? So one GB data is equal to 1024 MB. So 1024 MB divided by 128 MB. This value is equal to eight eight blocks. So one GB of data equal to eight blocks. So one GB is equal to eight blocks. Eight blocks, right? One GB equal eight blocks. Same if it is hundred GB, how many blocks? Hundred GB equal how many blocks? Tell me. Yes, guys, are you following? See one GB equal to eight blocks of data. One GB equal eight blocks. Then hundred GB equal how many blocks? Yes, can you ping me? Chart box is there. One GB equal to eight blocks. Then hundred GB equal to how many blocks? One GB, one GB equal to eight blocks. Hundred GB equal to how many? Care? How it is eighty man? How many? Yes, Sumit. How it is eighty, Sumit? One GB eight blocks. Hundred GB eight into hundred. Eight into hundred. How much here? Eight hundred. Yes, eight hundred GB equal to eight hundred blocks. That's it. Eight hundred blocks, right? So what happens here? First of all. The data divides into 800 blocks. That 100 GB data divides into 100 blocks. After dividing into 800 blocks here, it will distribute onto multiple nodes in cluster. It will distribute onto multiple node cluster. Now, what is the distribution strategy? Let us see. See one second. Now, file with 100 GB data. Yes, this is passing name nodes. Name node taking 100 GB data, dividing into multiple blocks. And distributing at multiple nodes. Exactly what is node? Node is a computer, just like our computer only. Node means just like our computer. That node contains what? Each node contains what? Here they say hard disk. Same as like our computer. So it's that CPU, all the CPUs. Okay. Node, this node contains hard disk, motherboard, RAM, and they were same exact like our computer. First computer, next computer. Next computer, next computer, next computer, next computer. Okay. Yes, in this node, hard disk. Every node is hard disk to store data, right? Here hard disk. Yes, here also hard disk. Here also hard disk. Next here also hard disk. Next here also there is a hard disk. Next here hard disk like this. Every computer is hard disk, right? That hard disk divides in multiple blocks. Okay, hard disk. That hard disk divides in multiple blocks. That size of each block is equal to 128 because Hadoop, once Hadoop setup is done here, the disk converts into Hadoop blocks. Once Hadoop setup on the computer, the disk block converts into Hadoop blocks. So size of each block is now 128. Okay. Now this hard disk is having some blocks. This hard disk, some blocks. This hard disk, some blocks. Next here, this hard disk, some more blocks like this. Okay. So like this, every hard disk, there are some blocks. Okay. Right? Now, name node taking data, 100 GB data, and dividing the multiple blocks, that means 800 blocks. That 800 blocks, where is storing? Let us see. One second. Now, size of the file is 100 GB. Let us see this hard disk capacity. Is, suppose 1 TB free space available. Yes, in first node itself, 1 TB free, free space available. Suppose second node may some free space. Next node may be some free space. Next node may be some free space. So different nodes, different free spaces. One second. Let us go to Hadoop. Data center. Let me show the data center. Yes, I'll show my data center, our, our company data center. Yeah, this is data center. Data center, racks, rack one, rack two, rack three, rack four, rack five, all the racks, multiple racks. All our racks here. Rack, like a supermarket. You go to supermarket, you will see all the racks, right? And the racks keeping items. Yes, somewhat like that. But they are specially designed racks. Especially design racks here. In these racks, keeping computers. Here computers, here computers like this. All the one first 
compute next computer like this one by one computers placing here so computer placing here computers all network connected see this here one computer based network connection next computer network connection next computer next computer next computer so each rack one computer here computer here one two three four five six like this now computers like this all the computers right all network connections all networking connections are all our networking connections networking so keeping computers on the racks okay maybe each rack here two computers here computers here two here two here two like this maybe two two Okay, two to right. See, we are able to see two cables, right? Here one computer, next other computer, next computer, next computer like this. Okay, right? So two to like this. There are special design racks here. Okay, the in this placing computers, placing all the Hadoop computers. That Hadoop computers. Okay, right? Yeah. Fine. Now, all the computers in network is nothing but cluster. Cluster. Cluster is a group of computers in network. Hadoop cluster means all related to Hadoop. Oracle cluster means all related to Oracle like this. Okay, depends on requirements, you can use different computers like that here. Okay, so Hadoop network is a Hadoop cluster. Just it's a Hadoop cluster. Okay, right? In cluster, all the computers. Node means a computer. Node means computer. Here disk, here disk, here disk, here disk. Every computer kind of disk. Disk is to store the data. Now we are loading file with 100 GB. All the 100 GB data loading with different computers. Now here, see some scenario here. So for data node one, suppose 1 TB free space available. Yes, 1 TB free space available here. In data node one, suppose 1 TB free space available. So data node one, in first node itself, 1 TB free space available. What is size of the file? 100 GB, right? Very less, 100 GB. But here, one TV free space available. That means this node one, see first node itself. Yes, node one, this node one is capable of storing 100 GB, right? Yes, first node, this node one can take 100 GB, but never storing a single node. Yes, Hadoop never will store the file data in single node. Okay, even this computer, this disk, even this free space, one TV free space available, but only 100 GB. Yeah, this 100 GB data can store into 1 TB free space, no problem. Yes, even able to store, it won't store here, never storing. Okay, never storing on single computer. In Hadoop, yes, file always distributing onto multiple nodes in cluster, never storing on the single computer. In Hadoop, file never storing single computer. That again. Okay. Now, name node taking 100 GB data divides into multiple blocks, how many internal blocks? That 800 blocks distributing onto multiple nodes in cluster. Then how many nodes? Multiple nodes, okay. Then how many nodes? For this, there's a distribution strategy. Let us see about distribution strategy here. Yes, distribution strategy here. <coughs> distribution strategy. Yes, what's the distribution strategy? See distribution strategy. So what is distribution strategy here? See, default strategy, I percent of total data, I percent of total data distributing, distributing onto, distributing onto each node in the cluster, distributing onto each node in the cluster. That's it. Here. It's a default strategy here. In the cluster, in the cluster, right? Yes, suppose default is 5%, yes? 5% of total data distributing onto each nodes in the cluster, right? Yes, then 100 GB data, yes, now 5% of 100 GB data, 5% of 100 GB data is equal to how much here? The data is equal to how much here? Yes, 5 GB data, right? It's a 5 GB data. It's a 5 GB. So distributing 5 GB, 5 GB, 5 GB like this. How many nodes? 5 GB on 20 nodes, right? It's 20 nodes. 5 GB okay, on 20 nodes, yes. 5 each, yes, each 5 GB, yes, 5 GB on 20 nodes. Okay, on each node, 5 GB here. Total 20 nodes here. Yes, 20 nodes, yes, on each, on each, it's a 5 GB, on each 5 GB. 
20 nodes. So 5% of 100, five, yes, 100 divided by 5, how much? 20, right? 20 computers. It's a default strategy here. Default strategy. Support data, more big, very big files here. Again, strategy changes, auto scaling. Automatically changing the strategy here. Yes, in case of 5 percentage, that case maybe 2 percentage. 2 percentage. Suppose 100 GB data storing on 20 nodes. Suppose you put 200 GB data, 300 GB data, maybe storing on maybe 50 nodes. If size of the file increasing, the number of nodes increasing automatically. If size of the file increasing, number of nodes increasing automatically. That concept is called auto scaling concept here. Say auto scaling. Auto scaling. How do you pass the concept of auto scaling? Auto scaling means if data increasing, number of servers increasing automatically here. If data, yes, if size of the file is small file, number of computers are less. Big data file here, the number of computers are more here. Okay, so auto scaling, it's a concept of increasing number of servers depends on, yes, it's a concept of increasing number of servers depends on size of the file. As file size, size of the file increasing, number of nodes increasing automatically. Okay, so as size size of the file size of the file increasing 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 then as size of the file is increasing here this number of nodes number of nodes also will increase here. number of nodes also will be increasing here will be increasing will be increasing yes will be increasing right will be increasing so number of nodes okay yes number of nodes will also be increasing here. That is the auto scaling concept here. Okay. Okay. Now let us consider 5% 5% of 100 GB. 5% of 100 GB. That means, see totally how many blocks? 800 blocks, right? 800 blocks of data. 800 blocks of data. So 5% of 800 blocks. Now this is it. 40 blocks, right? He said 40 blocks. That means on each node 40 blocks. 40 blocks. 40 blocks is equal to 5 GB only here. 5 GB is a 40 blocks. 1 GB 8 blocks, right? 5 GB how many? 40 blocks, right? 1 GB equal to 8 blocks. 5 GB equal to 5 into 8, 40 blocks, right? 40. So what happens here? This file 100 GB data. Yes, here 40 blocks. So first node here, 40 blocks in first node. Okay. Yes, in first node here, here using 40 blocks. Next second node. In second node, maybe 40 blocks. Next node, maybe 40 blocks. Next node here, 40 blocks. Next here, 40 blocks. Equally distribution. If not distributed equally, it's an imbalanced cluster. How do cluster must be balanced cluster? Suppose if not a balanced cluster here, Yes, at one time, yes, will not get the much performance. Always it maintains the balanced cluster means on every node equal amount of data, equal amount of data. So here 40 blocks, next one second, sub so, data node one. In this node one, 100 blocks of free space available, but using only 40 blocks. Suppose node two, node two here only 30 blocks using here, suppose 30 blocks available, 30 blocks available, if 30 blocks are available, then it won't use that. It won't use 30 blocks here. No, it won't use 30 blocks. Then minimum 40 blocks. Then looking for node 3. Suppose node 3, 200 blocks of free space are available, but using only 40 blocks. Node 4, node for no space, then node 5. Suppose node 5, 50 blocks are available, out of 50 using 40 blocks. Next year using 40, 40, 40, 40 blocks, equally distributing onto multiple nodes in cluster. So this is distribution strategy. So name node always will distribute the files into multiple nodes in cluster equally. Equally distributing onto multiple nodes in cluster. It's equal distribution. It's a, it will maintain the balanced cluster. If not equally distributed, it's an imbalanced cluster. Yes, I'll tell you. If not equally distributed, what happens? We'll discuss next topic. In data processing electrons, what's a yes, disadvantage in data processing? We'll discuss. If not distributed equally here, some bottlenecks will come to picture. We'll discuss. There's next topic. Okay, next. So distributing like this. So file one loaded. Next file loaded. Suppose, for example, here historical data loading. 
assume that historical data historical data loading into cluster historical data loading into cluster historical data loading into cluster right suppose historical data first 2010 year data loaded as 2011 year data loaded suppose this cluster now currently cluster with 100 nodes capacity 100 nodes cluster assume that 100 nodes cluster it's a 100 nodes cluster 100 nodes cluster so 2010 year data loaded 2011 year data loaded 2012 year data loaded 2013 loaded of loading 2013 cluster field cluster field yes still how much data is there sir? still six years of data it's only four years of data completed 2010 to 2020 yeah, totally 10 years of data out of 10 years only four years of data loaded only four years loaded still six years of data is there one second Still six years of data is there. That means data is more than the capacity of cluster, right? No cluster facing big data problem. No cluster facing big data problem. It's facing big data problem, right? At least what is solution? Now this case, what is solution? Now how do even how do cluster also facing big data problem? What's the solution for this? Simple solution here. Once a cluster fill here, now how do but mean can add some more computers to existing cluster without disturbing existing cluster you can add some more computers maybe five computers or ten computers you can add some more computers okay without disturbing existing cluster you can add five more nodes or ten more nodes so but these are some filled next to five nodes next to five nodes these are some filled next to five next to five like this continuously can add it without disturbing existing cluster continuously next to five next to five next to five like this continuously here how many like this maximum number of nodes in cluster how many nodes in cluster here maximum yes here once a cluster fill here how do you can add the new nodes to existing cluster without disturbing existing cluster like this how many yes maximum number of nodes in a cluster the maximum number of nodes in a cluster is equal to how many here? Yes, Hadoop. Hadoop 1.x version, it's a 4000. Yes, next, Hadoop. Hadoop 2.x version, it's a 10,000. Up to 10,000 computers. Hadoop 1.x version, it's a 4000. Hadoop 2.x version, it's a 10,000 computers. 10,000x. So, a cluster capacity 10,000 computers. In a cluster, we can store. 10,000, yes, in a cluster, we can configure up to 10,000 computers. Suppose cluster filled. 10,000 computers are filled. Still data is there. Assume that. Yes, chance is there. Cluster filled, 10,000 computers completed. Still data is there. Yes, we can go for one more cluster. One more cluster. One more cluster. One more cluster. Which? Another 10,000 computers. Another 10,000 computers. Right again. Suppose this also filled. One more cluster. Third cluster. One more cluster. One more. One more. One more. Like this, how many clusters? Maximum number of clusters. Maximum number of clusters that can be configured. That can be configured. That can be configured. Configured. That can be configured. Is equal to maximum number of clusters that can be configured. That can be maximum number of clusters that can be configured is equal to yes, 17 clusters. That can be configured 17 clusters, total 17 clusters. Yes, size of each cluster is 10,000 nodes. Maximum number of clusters equals 17, 17 clusters. That means so maximum number of nodes, maximum number of nodes, nodes in a data center, in a data center. See, data center divides into clusters. Data center divides into cluster. Clusters can be computers. Data center divides into cluster. Each cluster can be some computers. So maximum number of nodes in a data center is equal to 17 clusters multiplied by 10,000 nodes is equal to 1,70,000 computers, right? 1,70,000. Means how much data that can be stored here? 1,70,000 computers means how much data? So 1,70,000 computers. 1,70,000 computers 
Div multiplied by how much? Recommended is just 40 TB. Yes, previously we discussed it. And each one recommended is 40 TB. See, at the beginning, traditional systems, that time we discussed here. Recommended one is 40 TB here. See this, this is 40 TB. This is recommended. Or this is recommended 40 TB. Means around 50 TB. Just assume that, okay, 40 TB. 40 TB. So 170,000 computers multiplied by 40 TB. Clear? 170,000. 1,70,000 multiplied by 40 inch is equal this much of TB rate. So this TB divided by 1024. 1024 is equal to petabytes. 7,968 petabytes of data. This is equal to here. 7,968 petabytes of data, right? See, for example, Facebook. Let us take Facebook. Facebook generating 4 petabytes of data per day. 4 petabytes of data per day, right? 4 petabytes of data per day. So this is this much of data divided by 4. Is equal to how many here? Yes. Around 2,000 2, days, right? 2000 days divided by 365 is equal to around six years of data. So in a data center, in a data center, Facebook can handle six years of data. Okay, six years of data, right? Unlimited data here. There's no limit. Okay, there's no limit here, right? Yes, if data center computed, data center field, they'll go for another data center. Yes, they will I one more building. Then they will set up one more data center like this. Like this, many data centers across worldwide. Depends on the regions here. Different regions data for the using different data centers. That again. So this is data storage. Yes, unlimited data. Hadoop can take unlimited. There is no limit on data here. Hadoop can take unlimited data here. There is no limit on data here. Hadoop can take unlimited data. There is no limit here. If cluster field adding nodes continuously here. By adding nodes continuously here, Hadoop can take unlimited data. Right again. Yet this, this, this type of adding nodes is nothing but horizontal scaling. Horizontal scaling. Yes, Hadoop follows horizontal scaling. Okay, in data storage, see data storage. Data storage, in data storage, data storage, Hadoop follows. Yes, data storage. Yes, Hadoop follows. Hadoop follows. Follows horizontal scaling, horizontal, horizontal, horizontal scaling, following horizontal scaling here. So this one follows, follows horizontal, this horizontal scaling. Yes, what is vertical scaling? What is horizontal scaling? Let us see. Vertical scaling, vertical scaling, vertical scaling, next horizontal scaling, horizontal. Horizontal. Yes, traditional systems following vertical scaling. How do you following horizontal scaling here? Horizontal. Yes, horizontal scaling. So what is vertical scaling? What is horizontal scaling? Let us see. What is vertical scaling? Yes, it's a process of it's a process of process of increasing. It's a process of increasing volume. Just increasing volume. Volume of server. Just increasing volume of server. It's a process of increasing volume of server here. Yes, it's a process of vertical scaling. Vertical scaling. It's a process of increasing volume of server. What is horizontal scaling here? Yes, it is increasing number of servers rather than increasing volume here. It is. It is an increasing. It is an increasing. Yes, it is an increasing number of servers. Number of servers. Number of servers. Increasing number of servers rather. Increasing, increasing, yes, increasing volume. Yes, instead of increasing volume here, just increasing number of servers. Just it's increasing number of servers. Horizontal scaling, it is an increasing number of servers rather increasing volume. Increasing volume. So you get traditional systems follows vertical scaling. How do you follow horizontal scaling? That's it. So this is about data storage. Traditional systems versus Hadoop is like this. In traditional systems, get data storing only one server, only single server. That server capacity increasing continuously here. If data size increasing, server capacity increasing. 
so there is a limit for this there is a limit but in hadoop there is no limit here if cluster field adding some more computers adding some more computers by adding computers continuously here we can store unlimited data so this is solution from the hadoop big data storage solution from the hadoop here that again so next one data processing here so next is challenge data processing so this data processing tomorrow we'll discuss i think tomorrow we'll be finishing all the challenges okay so once it's finished here we'll go for hadoop setups tomorrow thursday is yes, friday we'll go for hadoop setup yeah that's all for today any doubts from you guys any doubts any doubts yeah uh, just ping me whatsapp i think already have some number okay yes yeah, just ping me okay ping me yes i will explain any doubts any doubts you can ping me i'll explain very clearly right yes thank you guys see you tomorrow let us wind up the session good day sir